Hey guys, what's up? Light Bill Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the middle, the ABC original sitcom, The Middle, starring Patricia Heaton, Neil Flynn, Ethan Schur, Atticus Schaefer, my main man, Charlie McDermott. Don't actually know him. He's pretty cool though. Um, I don't know how to actually talk about this show because it's been on for nine years. It came out in 2009. The final episode just aired on the 22nd. Uh, so two days ago. Right? Two days ago? Yeah, Tuesday the 22nd. These last three days have been a whirlwind of emotion. Whirlwind of emotion. As you can see, I got a brand new tattoo uh, with this really awesome skin stuff. It's like a uh, fake skin that they put on it now and like it heals automatically and eventually it's gonna peel off but like I'm kind of leaking still. See I'm like leaking so like you can't actually see full details. I got an axe that says heck down the he the hilt. Hilt is the handle. It's a pun <laughs> for Axel Heck. Get it? I'm so funny. I'm so punny. Um, I knew that when this series was going to end, I was going to be an emotional wreck. <laughs> I knew it automatically. And everyone who's, who's followed me and who's been messaging me over these last couple, few years of doing Axel Heck moments, um, different parts, not so much reviews, but through years, I've been doing these Axel Heck moments, um, for my other, my other channel. And... So many people worldwide have, you know, reached out and thanked me and, and you know, we, we've had conversations about plot points we like and, and theories we have and, you know, the, the, Axel is my favorite character in all of fiction. You have Axel Heck, you have Prince Zuko, those are the top two. And then you have a bunch of others thrown in between, which I, I'd have to sit down and figure it out one day. I didn't realize until about a year or two ago that my personality has been based off of the character of Axel. And why I say this is because one day I, I was being overly dramatic about something and I was emphasizing a certain word and I was using my hands and I was bopping kind of a thing. And I was like, oh, God. And then, But I said something after that and I stopped myself and I was like, wait a minute. That's a that's an Axel Heck thing, and I'll and then I'm I'm rewinding and I'm like, oh my god, I talk a certain way and my body language is a certain way, and who would have thought that my subconscious would dictate my personality, my persona, my who I am as a human being over these last nine years because of how this character is, and it's pretty cool because I didn't realize this until recently. Awesome, really awesome that this character had so much influence on my subconscious to just go about. You know, we've, we've talked about, um, to those of you joining us from my other channel, welcome. You, we, we have discussed in the past theories and, and hopes and dreams of how the character is going to turn out because Axel is the greatest character ever, obviously the ax man. He, uh, his first short, his first kiss was Sean Donahue and, and then Sue winds up marrying Sean, which is hysterical and great at the same time. They never made a joke about the, the how Sean kissed both of them, though. I thought that would have been clever. But then, you know, Axel winds up with Lexi, and then we see the flash-forward scenes with, you know, him having the, the boys, the three boys that are just like him, getting the best revenge a parent could ever want for uh, Mike and Frankie Heck's sake. <laughs> It's, it's hard for me to recollect everything of the last nine years just because I don't want to break down in tears again. He, he's gone through so much. He was this confident, secure high schooler, and then he got to college, and he had that moment. What was it? Season 6, Episode 5, Halloween 5. He gets locked in the library. I'm on top of my... I'm, a, I'm on top of this. I'm on top of this with details. And Axel's talking to this bust of William Shakespeare, who, who he doesn't know is Shakespeare, and he calls him LeBron. And, and he's talking about life, and he's like, you know, my whole life everyone's told me what to do, what to wear, how to think. And then all of a sudden, I'm in college now, and no one's telling me what to do, and I don't know what to do, and, I, and I'm scared, man, I'm really scared. Did I peek? I'm scared, man, I'm really scared. And 
to see this confident individual break down, it was super real. Super real. This episode was three years ago. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, uh, four episodes. Oh my god, I'm I'm losing my mind. Four four years ago, this particular episode was. October of four years ago. And I, I knew at that moment I was like, this is this is a character to watch. This is a character to watch. And I've been posting these Axel Heck moments, episode after episode after episode. People have been resonating so well with it because they, they see certain parts of Axel in themselves. They see those that moments of confidence. They see those moments of depression. They see those moments of self-doubt. They see those moments of complete exuberance of joy. And they see those moments of bouncing from girl to girl to girl because he's Axel. It's just, he's the Axe Man, you know? He's whatever, man. Like, he's cool. Charlie did an amazing job with this character. I give Charlie McDermott the actor who plays Axel Heck so much credit because Charlie is not like Axel at all. Charlie is so laid back. He's super artsy, super indie, super awesome in that fashion, the complete opposite of Axel Heck as a character. When I, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say this really. I'm just, I'll just, I'll go over it. So Tuesday was the, um, the finale. I, I originally made puns with a friend. They kind of fell through. And I was like, alright, you know, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it live. I was super nervous to watch it live. And I'm watching it. And it's an hour long. And I'm getting teary-eyed. And I'm crying at certain points. And we've, we've discussed. I, I talk about crying all the time. It's just healthy to just let it out. So what? Who cares? I have a beard and I have tattoos. I'm allowed to cry. <laughs> Everyone's allowed to cry. Let's be very clear on that. Um, no stereotyping allowed here. So I'm watching it, you know, there's the moments that Axel, Sue, and Brick share in the car, there's the moments that they all share in the, in the road, there's the moments between Sue and Sean, there's the moments of Axel and Brick, and then, you know, at the end, the credits start to roll, the kids are fighting in the backseat of the car after the flash forward things, the plane flies over, just as the plane flew over in that very first episode, and Brick whispers, the man. And at that moment, that's when I realized it was over. Done. It was over. And I cried so hard. Like one of those ugly cries when you can't breathe and it feels like someone's sitting on your chest and you're just gasping for air and you're holding your stomach and you're hoping you're going to get a next, next thing of breath. And it was, I'm by myself, I'm watching this, literally in this spot, but my television's right there and... It was super rough because all these things kept floating back to me, you know. Nine years ago, I was 19 years old. That's horrifying. That's a horrifying thought. Nine years ago, I was 19 years old. I have lived, what, four or five different lives since I was 19 years old? I, you know, I've, I've talked about recently um, uh, having a conversation with this particular friend um, that it's okay to question. We were talking about this guy that I like how he's trying to figure himself out, but he's scared, and, like, you're, it, that's just a part of it. You, finding yourself is scary, you know? What did we, what did we learn from Axel? It's, I'm scared, man, I'm really scared. Life is scary. You're gonna have these awesome moments, and you're gonna have these terrifying moments, you're gonna have these sad moments, and, like, I talked to the, I talked to a friend yesterday about not specifically scared stuff, but we had a, a chat, and it was a chat that I didn't want to have, but it was a chat that we had. And all, all these all these different emotions f were flooding from Tuesday the 22nd to yesterday the 23rd to today, the 24th. <laughs> my day off, I got my punny, my pun tattoo, my Axel Heck tattoo in, in memoriam. And, you know, this stuff going on with this, this particular friend and, you know, everything just built up and sometimes you have to let it out. And I feel I, it, 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 it's what was scary the most yesterday specifically was seeing a literal chapter close, both literally and figuratively. This particular show was on for nine years of my life. I've gone through four or five different lives since then. And yesterday was the ending of a chapter, ending of one of my life chapters. 
you know, the middle ended Tuesday. Yesterday was the end of one of my live chapters, and it ended on some cliffhangers to be continues, but it was a distinct end. And like today was the start of a brand new chapter. And it's weird to say that because you're watching this, you're thinking to yourself, hmm, how many lives have I had since I was 19, since I was eight? How many times have I changed? How many people I don't talk to that I used to talk to all the time? How many people do I not hang out with anymore that I used to hang out with all the time? Everything changes. Some things do last quite some time. Some friends stick around. Some some friends will always be around. Well, oh, ugh, I can't. I'm recording on my phone, so I can't look at my phone. As soon as as soon as the, the show ended, I I was singing. Um, I'll always be around. But who sings it? Water parks? Is it water parks that sings? I'll always be around. You know I'll always be around. Never, 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 never. Um, to drive. The world's gonna pass you by if you want it. I think it's Water Parks. Awesome song. But that's what was going through my mind. With that friend, with, with Axel, with the show in general, all of these things were coming together and I was freaking the freak out. Let me tell you. It's interesting because not many people can pinpoint an exact moment when they noticed their life changed. And yesterday was that ending of one chapter and the beginning of another for me. And it's weird to say that. It's weird to verbally state that. It's just, it's how it is. So the question is, what's this next chapter going to bring? What's this next, how long is this next chapter? How long was the last chapter? I don't know when the last one actually started. I know when it ended, but I don't know when it started. Does it start with meeting a particular friend? Does it start with doing a particular thing? Does it start with a particular job? I don't know. I don't know. But I don't have to know. That's the, that's the beauty of it. I think the thing to realize is that if I'm looking at it in a linear timeline, because time is fluid, even though we use it in a lineality aspect. Physics. Um, I have... I'm not the same person I was when I was 19 years old. I'm not the same person I was when I was 22 years old. I'm not the same person I was when I was 24 years old, etc., etc., etc. But the thing is, man, is that all of these things change and it's all going to be okay. You're supposed to have that heartbreak for certain points. I'm supposed to cry my eyes out the last two days for various reasons, as we discussed between friend stuff and middle stuff, crying because the, the, the chapter's ending, but knowing that there's a new chapter to begin. I'm not, I'm not giving up on anything. It's just a, it's a matter of accepting the fact that everything changes, whether we want it to change for the better or worse is, is different. Whether we want to see it change for the better or worse is different. There's nothing we can do about that. We can only do so much. We can only do as much as we're given. We can only play the cards we are dealt and hope for those mystery wild cards if we're playing Uno, right? I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I'm teared out that I can't actually produce tears to express how upset I am that this show is over. That this next chapter of mine is beginning, but it had ended. That there's no middle. Wow! I went there. One of my favorite middle memories. We'll, we'll end on a positive note. We'll leave on one, one, a few positive notes. Um, I was desperately trying to find a shirt that Axel was wearing in an episode. And I was emailing back and forth with the, casting, the costume designer of the show. It was email I found and I screenshotted a picture of, of Charlie in this shirt and I was like I need your help I, I desperately need to find it I can't figure it out where is this it took like 11 days to come into full circle of me sending that first picture to me actually getting the shirt and this is this is the shirt this is the shirt that Charlie McDermott McDermott as Axel Hack was wearing it's from Aviator Nation it's this awesome sweater Right? It's this awesome sweatshirt. It's blue. It's got these things on the side. It has these like night padded shoulders. 
I don't wear it anymore because it's too precious. It's like a trophy for me. I can't wear it in public. I'm just terrified what happens if something happens to it. But I worked my ass off. I did so much private investigator nonsense to find this shirt. To actually own this shirt. And I got it. And it was one of my most proudest moments. However many years ago that was. 2015, I think. I think it, I think it was three years ago. I've learned so much from this show, and those of us, those of you who have watched it, you know, as long as I have, those of you who jumped on season four, season five, season six, even season seven, you know that this show was super authentic. It was super real. It wasn't pretending to be anything that it wasn't, because it was the middle. It was all of these opinions and what was going on in middle America, and it just brought all of this life into it. These characters were beautifully well-rounded characters. The writers are amazing how they portray, how they wanted the actors to portray these characters. It's very upsetting to see it end. It's very upsetting to see a fight happen with a friend. But when one chapter ends, another begins. And you can figure out the adventures of the details along the way. Because that's the beauty of it. Life. Moments. Adventures. You're going to have heartbreak along the way. It's just, it's just how it goes. Just because you want something yesterday doesn't mean you're going to get it tomorrow. But when the fates speak, we listen. I'm a strong proprietor in everything happens for a reason. There's no such thing as coincidence. You and I are not having this moment right now by coincidence. There's a little philosophy on that. You know, what's to come with this friend of mine? What's to come with future shows that these actors are in? What's to come with the network that the show is on? What's to come with this? What's to come with that? What's to come with why? What's to come with how? What's to come with who? Right? We did the, we did all of that. Five W's, right? What's to come with where? That's another one. Okay. Life's a mystery. But it's okay. Because we don't need the answers to everything right now. We'll get the answers when we need them. But we'll get the answers when we're worthy enough for the fates to bestow upon us the answers. But this show is important. And the show will always be important to me. The show is important to many, many people around the world. It was a top five trending tweet on Tuesday night. It just doesn't happen. Something of importance needs to get to that caliber. Ooh, there's a three syllable word right there. Intelligence. If you haven't watched the middle and you somehow made it manage to watch the entirety of this review, congratulations. <laughs> Um, watch the show, because it's awesome. You're going to laugh, you're going to go, aw, you're going to tear up, you're going to applaud, you're going to get mad, you're going to experience all of the emotions, up, down, left, right, back, front, all directions, sideways. But it's worth it. Because the show is worth it. Thank you. To the creators, thank you to the producers, thank you to the cast. Thank you, my fellow audience viewers, for giving your perspectives, giving your inputs, giving your ideas, giving your theories about what can happen, what should happen. For the record, though, remember like six months ago or something like that, I said in a prediction, I was like, you know, I, they, I think they're going to be doing fast forward stuff. And guess what? They did fast forward stuff. Maybe they listened to me. Hmm. Who knows? I'll feel special for today. Thank you guys. Thank you for thank you for listening. Thank you for joining in on the conversations. We're not alone. Mucho mahalo guys.